Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to You Can Do This. We are here back in our test kitchen, and today we're gonna do something from the comments. So Mr. Yaroslav Bravko says, please do omu rice, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. And when someone puts four exclamation points, we kinda gotta do it. So today, we're gonna do omu rice. Caveat, I have never done omu rice before. This is the first time I'm gonna be attempting it. Supposedly, it takes a lot of skill. Things that I somewhat have, sometimes. But we're gonna try it together. We're gonna to go through this whole thing and we're gonna make omu rice. You're gonna walk away from this being like, I know how to do that. Omu raisu, let's go. First thing we do with any recipe is check YouTube. So omu rice, so I'm watching this guy in Kyoto. Oh, he has a lot of flair. He has a lot of style. Oh my God, that's a big toss. Kind of a simple fried rice. Goes into this mold right here. We take it, we flip it, we put it over, and then we start the eggs. We need a lot of eggs. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Flips over one side. Oh, and he does this little hand move. Flips it, flips it, super loose in the center. Wow, that thing is barely set. And it goes over, use the chopsticks. Slice open, oh geez, that's really pretty. <laughs> what we're gonna try to do now is recreate something a master has been doing every day of his life for years and years and years in a matter of minutes. Help me. So let's do the easy part first. The easy part first is just gonna be the rice. I got a hot pan. I'm just gonna go super simple fried rice. Uh, I got garlic and ginger. That just goes in. I'm gonna put those in first. I wanna get it a little fragrant. Make sure your garlic doesn't burn. Oh yeah, that guy had mad style. All right, I gotta work on my flippy flops. Look at that, all right, all right. Get that height. I'm gonna get burned during this. Rice goes in. Um, you know what? I really like day old rice for fried rice just because like you're gonna kinda sorta rehydrate it in the pan a little bit. This is going in. My garlic's starting to color so I wanna put this in before that goes too far. This guy had mad style. Mad style, mad style, super flippy. That guy was super fast too. I can get that. Oh, all right, I'm gonna do a little bit of green onion, a little soy. Oh, I'm gonna finish a little sesame oil. It's a flavoring agent more than a cooking oil just because it has a really low smoke point. So let's just take a little taste. Salty enough. I got my omu rice mold. Uh, I ordered it off of Amazon. Simple as that. I'm gonna flip it down. Oh Jesus, maybe I'll do it like this. There we go, let's see. Come on, look nice. Oh, maybe I didn't pack that enough. I did, right on. That was relatively easy. But this is not where the skill comes in. Omu rice is about the egg. It's about getting that beautiful round shape that is almost mimicking the rice here with a soft interior. And uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of coloring on the outside, which is gonna be the difficult part. Eggs. At home, don't crack your eggs on the side of a bowl. As soon as you do that, all those shards go directly in. Crack it on a flat surface. You can actually get it so it comes off in one piece. I got six eggs here. Uh, in that video, that guy's pan was pretty hot, right? And so it looks like the egg goes in, he mixes it. It's only about 30 to 45 seconds before that egg starts to set and you don't want it to color. And then he starts with a little flip here and you just kind of move it over and over and over again. To be true to the video, my cooking chopsticks. So here we go, our first attempt, omu rice. Uh, don't judge me on style points right now. We're just, we're just trying to get to the end. We're trying to figure this thing out, me and you together. All right, eggs go in. That pan was not hot enough. Okay, first lesson, get your pan hotter. So my first time out, I, I, uh, I chickened out a little bit. You know, uh, I have it on a little bit lower of a heat, just so it's gonna give me a little bit more time to figure this thing out. Right? So I'm not like super rushed on the high heat. You're basically, even though your eggs are whipped, you're kind of doing a soft scramble. Um, soft scramble require a constant movement. I'm scraping down the sides. If you see what I'm doing here, I'm bringing these sides in. That omelet is just starting to set right now. See the outsides? They're kind of a little bit dry. I may have uh, mixed this a little too much, right? And then I'm gonna try to fold. Oh God, oh God, folding this over. The guy did it just like that, folded that over, he started it. So he's gonna, he does a little thing here. 
And you try to, oh geez, no, corner of the pan, corner of the pan, roll it over. Let me get some help. Come on, friend. Come on, friend. This is super tough. This is super tough. This one's not working. This one is not working. And being completely worried about this thing, you know what I forgot to do? Season the eggs. Don't forget that. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> this is so bad. Um, I try to toss it, I try to work it over. You're kind of working the eggs over. And I take the world's worst omu rice omelet and I plate it on the rice. And so now we take this totally terrible omelet, <laughs> cut it open, and it is completely set and it won't fold. All right, so what did we do wrong? I think the timidness of me having the heat on a little bit lower of a setting um, didn't set the omelet right on the outside. When I was stirring it, um, we needed higher heat so we can get a nice, harder outside, softer inside so we can start rolling a lot sooner. Second, I forgot to season the eggs, which I'm just gonna do right now because I'm so nervous about getting this thing done. I'm gonna be focused again and I'm gonna forget to do it again. All right, so we have that. We gotta start the roll a little bit earlier. We gotta do this hand motion. We gotta tilt the pan, hot pan, hot pan. Eggs go in. So this is a two thing. Bottom of the pan is moving and my chopsticks are moving because I want to keep everything very mixed right away. So now, I have it pretty loose. It was a lot more set last time. So now, you kind of, oh, there we go. See the outside a little bit set a little bit more. I'm not doing this right. They're going, oh, he does a little bit, oh, shit. Too much, too much. I got a little crazy with the flippy floppy. That was way too much. It's a light little thing. It's just a little toss, and it's a roll like that. <laughs> this is so terrible. Attempt number two. I'm not even gonna waste this on the rice, right? We're getting there a little bit more. See the shape is a little bit better. We cut it open and the inside is a little less set. We're on the right track. Let's just roll the next one. Good crackle on the egg, that's what I want. Movement happening right away. So we got our eggs kind of loose. We got some ribbons like we saw in the video. Now we're gonna let it sit. So I'm gonna take this side right here. I'm gonna flip up the bottom just like that. And then I'm gonna lean the pan forward. I'm gonna do the fold, right? I still lose. Not the best, we have a lot of color here, but we're getting there, okay? We're using this, kind of go over. Still a little too loose, but we're almost there. That's more still a regular omelet. We're gonna slice this open. Look guys, we're almost there. We're almost there. So close. It's not perfect. I just got a little bit of brown on the outside, which means I need to move a little bit faster. That was number three. Three shots to do what this master is doing. Here we go. Number four, eggs go in. Let's get it moving around. From this, there it goes. The end comes up a lot easier now. Just taking my time with it. I'm gonna work this down to the side of the pan again. I get a nice little roll. I'm just rolling it on itself. And now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna work it right on top. Like so. This stuff's open, sides open. Omu rice. Not the prettiest one, because I'm not a Japanese master at it. I got it a tiny bit more cooked on the inside, but we're there. And I'm not gonna make you watch 10 more of these just get me the perfect outside. We got it, the texture is there. There's no color on the outside. It drapes all over. Omu rice. Yuri, me and you, bud. We did it. Soft eggs, rice. I mean, like, this is not a stretch. It's just like, it's more about technique. Like, you know what? There's, there's eggs and fried rice. Like, all these flavors, mmm. All these flavors you're familiar with, right? There's nothing that's a reach here. It's just, this is just about the technique. It's just about saying, hey, I saw this video. It looks super cool. Can I do that at home? Yes, you can. And for the rest of you, if you wanna see more videos like this, click the box below. I promise you, I'll fail. You probably know how to cook. I just got beef cubes here just some sirloin, about a two inch cut on some scallions that I'm just gonna stack.